Hey guys, and welcome back to Oxygen Not Included, Clay's Amazing Space Colony Simulator Extraordinaire. My name is Twitchy, and last time we spent the vast majority of our effort getting all of these research stations up and rolling so that we could go ahead and research some serious tech that we needed. I've just noticed that this is all down, so let's just come along and click this one. Look, we're going to do that. I don't even know what it does, and we're going to do that. Today, we want to use some of that technology to bring ourselves a bit of luck and materials. Over here, we have ourselves a targeting beacon. And if we come to Yarkil, we have ourselves the interplanetary launcher. We can put stuff in the launcher to send at the targeting beacon. We need to do that because these guys, I mean, they've got no, they've got no steel. Things are melting. Things are going bad. Look, they're starving. I don't know why they're starving over here because we just spent last episode also making a mushroom farm and slime farm to feed the mushrooms, obviously. But we have a big issue. We have a big issue playing out that I uh, I wasn't quite ready for. As something that I wasn't prepared for. My toilets. They're running out of water. That's, that's a very bad situation. It is literally just a piping issue, though. Uh, I have prioritized my food over my water, but the, over my toilets, but the toilets really do need to be the one prioritized. I'm not sure about the oxygen, whether that needs to be as high a priority as the toilets or not. I think we need to start just ripping down some pipes and making this just a little bit better. Okay, the way that we're going to do this, we've got clean water coming from our scrubber and we've got clean water coming from our desalinator. I'm just going to immediately put down a bridge here. This this just uh, takes priority. Anything coming through will immediately go over this bridge. Uh, and then we're going to run this up, do a little jump and into the wall, into the, uh, the toilets up there. Beautiful. I bet there's a better way we can do it, but that's what I'm going to go with for now. And of course, we do have another set of toilets. So we were just sorting out these ones over here. Another set of toilets over there. So I'm going to bring the same line that we have from here. Oh, someone, someone's showering. I was like, why is something taking damage? No, it's not taking damage. Someone's having a shower. Uh, so we're going to take off the end of that line and put it into the toilets. Now, the toilets actually produce more water than they consume. It's just that because we were having these bristle blossoms to consume pretty much all our water, uh, we, we needed to make that a secondary thing, not the primary thing. Let's let's see if this works for a little bit. Uh, I'm, gonna, I'm just going to sit here for a day and see what happens. Okay, the primary water line is is in place it seems to be feeding through quite nicely we've got a whole bunch of salinated water coming through here uh cool slush cool salt slush coming through how long until its next eruption point three is quite a way to go if we come up here this guy sat very quiet that's why we're having a bit of a trouble because we're used to running on two vents and we've only got one right now Ah, uh, the, uh, the final piece has been put into place for these guys to get their water as well. Right, great. Hopefully these should just be building up now. And these kind of act like a reservoir. Uh, these pipes are holding on to the clean water. They uh, scrub it through the toilet, if you will. We clean it in our chlorine over here. Can we just have a look at the chlorine? Chlorine over here. Uh, then it gets cleaned and put back into the system. All right, beautiful. All right, that, that should hopefully be a crisis averted i mean cle cleaning up their their accidents isn't that much of a crisis but it is a little something to watch out for okay downtime has struck the toilets are being used what we want to see of course is the water coming back into here first and foremost but it's a bit of a long process if i'm to be honest with you these guys are going to drop off their little packets of water here and then it, that has to come in and uh, hold up in one of these reservoirs and that in itself might take some time because there, there's not enough for them to hold up, not enough to, uh, to ever not be flowing through these pipes. And of course, there's too many germs for them to go through the shutoff valve. And if they're not hanging around in the liquid, but ooh, the, the sink was clean enough. Is that, is that what we're being told there? Some water got through. I don't know if that's... Can't click on it to find out. That's, that's a shame. That's a shame. Maybe there's such a small amount of water here that they couldn't have any germs on it maybe that's a thing i don't know okay look we had a little bit of a backstop there that should mean that maybe we're going to start getting a little bit of uh, fill in one of these tanks not not quite look there it goes again little backstop there that's that's nice that's cool yeah there we go it's it's held up here we've got whew, 100 000 germs but that's all right chlorine chlorine does its job I'm getting to the point where I'm starting just to ignore these starvation warnings up here. It'll probably disappear soon enough. Anyway, after a small cleansing process, most of these germs have died. It's going to take just a little bit longer for them to come down, be scrubbed, and then thrown into the system here. Oh, I like the fact that the uh, salt water is topping it up. That's beautiful. Up the top of the map, I have been a little bit busy at least placing orders, and Bishop has been going around trying to fulfill those orders, because we need to provide this interplanetary launcher with a 
a bunch of red bolts. That's right, we need to try and give this guy some radiation stuff. Uh, a whole bunch of exclamation points are appearing, by the way. This means that we've done some research. But red bolt generators, I want at least two of these. I've learned to put the, gener the uh, solar panel bit at the top. Uh, let's grab this conductive wiring, making everything out of steel because that's the only metal I've got at the moment. I mean, like, you could maybe a little bit of cobalt, but not enough to do all of this. We've got uh, two tons of steel, so we'll be burning our way through that. But yeah, I've popped down these Radbolt generators, but you might note that they are not lined up with this interplanetary launcher's port here. Uh, so I'm going to get this, and I'm going to try a little bit of a, uh, a, a test here. I want to be able to shoot it into there, but the only way I can really do that, uh, that comes out of the green, obviously, is if I point it this way. Will these, when they fire through, go past this... Uh, output and into this input so we can then fire it down that way. I don't know. We're, we, today we find out. We do have a little bit of a pr issue clicking over at Shurubi. It's one that I've only really just paid attention to. You can see that we've got all this hydrogen building up and I think, I think we're starting to run out of water. Actually, it's not doing too bad, but we don't have much water in the tank over here. And this is because the power has shut down. We, our battery is full, but that is because the sun is shining. I'm going to go ahead and do something a little, little bit crazy. You see these power connectors here? Let's turn those off. Let's, I don't know, I don't know what we're going to end up using the power for, but we, we need we need to turn these two systems over. Thank you very much, Hicks. Okay, that one turns down, that one turns down, and this one turns off. Okay, so the battery is is draining. Good, this this is good. This battery is our control system. That one, that one this one, is currently putting an off signal to the petroleum generator and the hydrogen generator. Obviously, the hydrogen burned through the hydrogen funny right uh, but the petroleum generator doesn't burn through petroleum it burns through ethanol that we make out of the the lumber from these trees uh, that are just just wild everywhere it's pretty good um, and that then produces a bunch of polluted oxygen uh, polluted water sorry that gets picked up gone through goes through some scrubbers and we end up with clean wonderful fresh water it's the plan anyway that's the plan anyway but of course the fact that we're just not chewing through that much power causing us issues I'm never sure whether I want these uh, low thresholds, like really down low, or the high thresholds really up high. I'm, I'm never sure where I want them. Look at that. We've instantly topped everything back up. I uh, had, had some noise going on over here. What have we got? Lava eggs. Ooh. Uh, do you know, you know where I might enjoy having those, actually? It's over on our original asteroid, right down the bottom here. We've got, we got a whole bunch of stuff kicking over that we... Uh, yeah, we, we could put some slicks down here, right? Yeah, that'd be great. Okay, let's do it. Choose a blueprint. Lava egg, thank you very much. Then we need down the bottom here to put, uh, let's go for automatic dispenser. Uh, are we just gonna build them a ranch? I, th I think we're just gonna build them a ranch quick. Okay, room size is 88. It could do with being a little bit larger. What do we need? Like uh, 96, right? 96, there we go, that, that will do it. Long journeys where I had to fill this dispenser. Uh, let's uh, have a look in here. We wanna have the lava egg. I really, really want this to be done straight away. Anyone, any point? It's it's not it's not high enough priority, go, go, go. Yes, yes, panic, panic, do it all. <laughs> Okay, there we go. All of them are delivered. I'm going to turn that one over. In fact, what I'm going to do is destroy the... No, first. First, I want to see what automation this takes. None. None at all. Really? Oh, no. I'm on conveyor. That's why. Okay, here's an input. Okay, dump all stored materials, store materials. Ah, I want it to not store materials. I really want some sort of system for dropping the eggs into water when the critter stables are full. Well, this is going to be an evolving story. Uh, lava egg. We, we, we've got... We've got some time to wait. We've got some time. I could I could run some power down here and have some egg incubators running. Mm, maybe, maybe. Ooh, good news, good news. The water is flowing, the toilet system is full, the oxygen system is full, and all the water is going down to feed the crops that feed the, the, the meat. <laughs> Ah, this is this, this is going well because we were starting to run out of gristleberry, and but we've got we've got nearly sixty thousand calories available, so it should be fine. We've got a funny pip here who thought uh, maybe this would be a good time to play a joke. I'm trying to close the door so we can stop stop planting weird stuff in my crops. Um, and of course now Hicks is like, yeah, I want to do that job, and uh, obviously, obviously the pip is not moving. He was out here when I gave the order, but nah, we we, we just gotta we gotta wait for him, I guess. Gotta wait. No, Hicks, please. Oh, and he's free. Go, 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 go. Now is the most important time. Go, go, go. Oh, Burke, you're you're slow and all the way over there. He's gotta. Oh. 
it's not time. Ah, uh, we got it. Great. All right, good work. Good work. Okay, so we got two Red Bolt generators down, but we do know that these like to overheat. As you can see, they're already starting to build up some temperature there. Bishop currently trying to make a bottle emptier. And just down here, here we go, we've got ourselves... Ooh, there's no way of pumping this out of here. Some crude oil. Let's rip this one down and put a bottle em uh, bottler uh, over the top. Pitcher pump. Pit pitcher pump's what it's called. Oh, we've got... We've got some actual ice grown up. What, what is going on here? Why is this spreading? I just watched it spread. What's that? Look, here's another bottle of water. Is that, is that going to go onto that as well? That'd be cool. Oh, there it goes. Yeah. Okay. Oh, all right. Well, that that's a thing. I now know how to make ice tiles. I don't want them though. <laughs> go away. Okay, just as night time is cooled, the pitcher pump is in place and up here we've got a bottle emptier set ready to go. Uh, enable that auto bottle and uh, turn it up, but I think it's going to take a while. Bishop 106 L. So I am picking up a theme for the past couple of episodes. I don't know if you guys have noticed that the same sort of thing has been going on. And I think this theme has to be described as the things that I built at the beginning of the series are no longer keeping up with the things I'm building at this point in the series. And at this point, it is the batteries, the power. The power is just not working well. I was starting to think about spreading out by one and seeing if that would help. But I, I don't think that's going to cut it. So if we come all the way down to the bottom of my map here it's not quite at the very bottom i've asked for a whole bunch of glass to be made i want to start expanding our solar panel network here i mean we've got all the way up to here that we could go i mean look at this we could go we could go all the way up here i feel like we want to rip down these rocket platforms rip down all i mean like this telescope we've not used this telescope in ages let's get let's get rid of that rip it all down build a new launch platform for this stuff over here and then just kind of diagonal my way up with solar panels. Okay, we'll start off with something like this. I think that's pretty cool. Let's cancel this so we've got ourselves a bunch of stuff to... I've just realised that I have punched a hole in the side here and we're going to be letting gases out. Look, there we go. It's escaping. Okay, that's, that's fine. That's no problem. Let's rip down these here and put a tile at the end. We could definitely have an awkward transition phase where we have to rip up these solar panels because they're being covered over. I might even get started on that now. I mean, what's going to happen if our power just dies? I mean, this one is going to get covered very shortly, and so is this one here. Mm, yeah, things to worry about. Things to worry about. Talking about things to worry about, over on Taranu, we have got a pretty major thing to worry about. We've got no liquids going to our... Is this to Yakil? Tyrannu? This is Tyrannu. Sorry, I, I couldn't remember which one we were on for a moment there. Uh, there's no liquids coming into our liquid pipe. That's because we're only just about making enough to feed the toilets and the sinks. And uh, I don't know why we're not making a little bit more. Now, obviously, we don't have much going into the oil well. But we do have all these slicksters dropping uh, oil and stuff. Uh, so we're going to have to figure out another food store. Thankfully, these guys, they're dropping an awful lot of eggs. So I think if we make this a little drown chamber over here... Here. We've got a, a critter sensor. There's too many critters in here. If we hook that up to a door, then we can have the uh, have access to the dropper. Let's automatic dispenser. Sorry, let's not call it a dropper. Uh, that there, I think it'll be a good place. Let's put some mesh tiles down as well. Oh no, Bishop's been going out and getting sunburned. This has led to him being massively stressed. What's going on with this? Twenty. 20% per cycle. Oh man, that's that's a lot. And then low morale as well. I kind of disagree. What? I, I guess we're gonna have a look at him for a little while. Just just keep an eye on him, see what's going on. Whilst we're watching, he's going down by 5%. Ah, oh, extra 20 because he's sleeping, but yeah, an extra 5%. Mm. Okay, we'll we'll just yeah, as I say, keep an eye on him. That that went up quick, very quick. I kind of want to carry on keeping an eye on Bishop as we're the only thing that's making his stress drop right now. I'm hoping uh, as we go around and look at other things, he'll be okay. He's going down to the glass forge. He's not out in space right now. That's fine. Uh, we got a little bit of a, a bibip over here telling us that crops are still dying. That's that's pretty bad. But we've got a door in place. With it. What's what's going on with this? People on it. People are on it right now. Beautiful. Let's let's just wait for a couple of seconds for this to be finished. 
So the entire time I've been playing this game, it has been pushed very hard that the way to actually stack your solar panels is like this. Uh, it's all to do with like the amount of uh, sunlight per tile and you actually get more blocking off the one and having another one exposed than you do have it. But I, I'm, I'm gonna level with you guys. I don't like it. I just I just don't like it. I'm, I'm happy to do this. I think this looks great. Um, but yeah, I don't I don't like the other way, so I'm just I'm just not gonna do it. <laughs> Feel free, feel free, feel free to rage at me in the comments about why this isn't why I've never got any power or anything like that. I mean, that's that that's fine. I can I can understand your frustrations. I wonder what happens if we lower the priority of all the stuff up top here and raise the priority of all the stuff at the bottom. Will he build himself a, a shade to work underneath, or is he going to end up just ignoring this underside here when he builds the stuff at the top? I don't know. We'll, we'll find out. We'll find out. Turning Bishop off all food that is not barbecue. I feel like he's eating something that's making him not as uh, not as happy as he could be. If we come and look at the morale breakdown here, it's a bit it's a bit messy. Uh, but mostly, I'm noticing that there isn't a food bonus. There should be a food bonus. There should definitely be a food bonus. Okay, we're gonna have to look quickly at Tyranu. What's going on over here? We've got a whole bunch of stuff that we cannot reach. Cobalt ore. Mm, okay, maybe we'll replace that for something else then. Okay, some more infrastructure being put down before we get to see it in action. Uh, back to your kill, Bishop, please. How are you doing? He is... I mean, he's doing okay. He's, he's doing okay. Okay, so we got the barbecue. He's now munching down. That's put my morale up a little bit, but 12 versus 17. We're still, we're still desperately short. How? We've got a skill scrubber. I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna put Bishop in there. I've I've just had a quick look at the skills he's got, and we don't need the strength. We don't need the piloting. We don't need the research. Uh, we could probably keep the digging only up to super hard, and then definitely the mechatronics because that's kind of his whole purpose, right? Talking of skill scrubbing, there are some skills I want to quickly learn over on Shirubi here. We've got a few auto sweepers and stuff that I want to put together, and I think we're going to stress out, uh, do sir, Doctor, Captain Stubbs, ex Esquire. The second oh, it's, a, it's an auto save oh man what a terrible time to auto save uh we, we, we're gonna literally pump you all the way up to mechatronics engineer over here you're, you're gonna get stressed before it gets better but we have the uh, the skill scrubber set up ready to go uh we'll we'll check in with that in a second first bishop bishop i mean you're, yeah you're you're sleeping you're gonna unlearn from some, the skill scrubber we'll, we'll be back in a couple of minutes what's going on over here though they're getting old with it. It'll happen. Okay, so the setup is finally ready. Let's just sweep everything here. This automatic dispenser, I want it to pick up any and all critter eggs. Uh, quite a high priority. The errands are down. We've got a big old buffer gate back there. Uh, this time I actually do want the buffer gate. Normally I put a uh, filter gate. Uh, normally I put down a buffer gate when I want a filter gate, but no, I want the signal to be held, to be buffered for a little time. Uh, 100 seconds. That should be long enough for people to pick up the... The pick up the eggs over here this place to become uh, small enough to not trigger this and then these guys have enough time to walk up and round before the buffer gate runs out well uh, again maybe that'll need a little bit of fine tuning we will wait to see what's going on over here oh, I'm uh, <laughs> But trying to wall in all the bleach stone that we have over here. We've developed a bit of a chlorine issue. There's uh, little pockets of it everywhere. We'll have to, we're going to have to do something a little bit more permanent, just letting it build up. But we need to stem the flow before we can actually uh, start dealing with it. If it's just going to carry on spewing out, why, why would we just randomly move everything around? Okay, we've got a lot of eggs being dropped off here. That's pretty cool. Uh, uh, eventually, these guys are going to hatch. They're going to drown. We're going to get a bunch of meat in here um, because I've asked this auto sweeper to pop it up into there. Uh, that's just going to drop on the floor. I suppose I could have made it drop over here but we're also going to have eggshells. Eggshells to be dropped in there as well. I suppose that could also have gone there. There was, there was actually a line in the background. If I, get, if I get some sort of sorting mechanism we'll send the shells this way and that can then go out through the conveyor, uh, through the teleporter. Oh, oh, we got a problem. I'm gonna solve this problem by digging the floor. Let's turn this down. We've had our first hatch and our first entrapment of our era. Uh, this this should be fine. This should be fine. We need to build this wall up. Uh, oh, he's dropping. That's actually I don't 
my mind about the petroleum dropping at all. Uh, I am going to have to rip down these... Oh, he, he was drowning there for a second. Uh, we need to get these tiles built so that he can't go and stand on this side. That's that's the one thing I'm worried about right now. Oh, it's downtime. Inca well, I guess we'll check in again tomorrow. How about Bishop? You doing okay? He's around here somewhere. Oh, he's taking damage. What's that about? But his stress is on the way down. This is good. This is good. Oh, we need to re reskill him, of course. That that that's a thing. He does currently have none. What's going on with Cal? She's got um allergies. That's fine. Uh, right, so we were saying boom, boom, and one, two. Mechatronics engineer, very important, and we'll give him up to super hard digging because that's also important. That that should be fine. Morale 19 needed 12. Yeah, great. How? Did, did you climb the ladder? How? I mean, I, I guess we're just gonna end up killing you then. That That's a big shame. That's that's a great shame. Oh no, buddy, we can't have you dropping petroleum out here. We're gonna have to deal with this right now, unfortunately. That 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 really is a shame. I was kind of hoping we could herd them back into that that place, but no, it's it's just not not gonna be a winner, I'm afraid. Oh, look at that eggshell taken away. What's gonna happen to this molten lava then? I hope they can't get up to this surface. The fact that they're filling this area up with petroleum is a little annoying, but at the same time, it adds an extra tile to the depth of the water. So I think I think we can live with it. I just I really hope. Did, did that drop down petroleum down here? Look at that. Oh, why why do you keep floating upwards? Hmm. I've never observed this behavior before. I've seen them drown in these types of pools before. Why Why is this suddenly... Is it just a fix because they kept on drowning? Oh, man. Okay, let's ignore the hatch that's broken out on the side over here. We've got three eggs. They're all going to break out there. We're going to have to attack them individually when the uh, population rises up again. But let's keep an eye on this slickster here. You'll notice the mar the uh, molten slickster has disappeared. Uh, I believe he has frozen to death. If we wait and see what's going over here, body temperature is up to is down to 80. He was born with a body temperature of about 100. Uh, so I want to wait for this to drop down below the 35 livable and see what happens to the meat because uh, we're starving over here and problems can break out from that. Wait, whoa, 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 sour gas, what's happened? What's happened? What? Where, where got hot? This got hot. I'm not even sure how this happened. I think we're just going to have to pump it out into space. Yeah, I, th I think that's what we're going to have to do. Oh, that's really bad. What happened here? Oh, mate. Uh, so I think what's happened is when the when the abyssalite got broken here, what temperature? It's at 255. Some, somehow it's passed some temperature over to some of the petroleum, which is just instantly flashed into sour gas. Oh, this is really, really bad. Okay, I've set up this hilariously long gas pipe route here, going from the very bottom of the map upwards. I, I don't even know if we're going to do any filtering on, on this or we're just going to pump it until we're clean. I, th I think we're just going to pump it until we're clean. Uh, right, I need I need a power source. Uh, this, this looks like a good one over here. Let's try and figure this out. Uh, power. Uh, do, do, we, do we have a transformer? Do we have enough steel? We don't have enough steel. I can't build a non-steel one down here. I guess we're taking... No, we're not going to take straight off the line. That would be silly. This line, though, this is fine. The water's too warm. He's not going to die. Ah, everything's going wrong. <laughs> so the Molten Slickster has a livable range down to 75. That's why the little guy died. This guy, however, can live down to 35. And the water is at 56. And maybe climbing. And maybe climbing. Kind of doesn't matter compared to all the sour gas that's here. Okay, we've got ourselves a momentous day over on Shurubi here. I think we've got ourselves enough of an automatic system up and running here that we can actually take a bit something that has been a bit of a burden to us off of the menu. That's right. If we come over to our microbe musher, no, 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 Burke, stop doing that. Beautiful. We should now just have a whole bunch of mushrooms being shuttled through. Well, actually, to begin with, it's going to be lice loaf. But once all the mushrooms start turning over, we're going to have enough that's been going in here. Allow them. Do I want to allow the manual use? No, we're going to let the auto sweeper take care of it, I think. Now we just need to get this place tidied up. Ugh. 
Okay, there some goes. It got uh, harvested by hand and then the auto sweeper picked it up. It gets de delivered to the conveyor receptacle and the auto sweeper picks it up and drops it in here. Oh, beautiful. Right, there, there we go. We got, a, we got a perfect system there. Absolutely perfect. <laughs> Can confirm they will use the top route and expose themselves to sun sunstroke. Okay, all right, fair enough. That I don't, I don't know. I mean, maybe if I put a door up and restricted the access, and that might work. But I bet they'd just climb over and uh, trap themselves on top. Well, it takes about this many batteries to keep one Red Bolt generator going overnight. Oh, have we fired some? No. Oh, no, have we lost power? Did we actually lose power at some point? That is a really sad if it was. The whole time I was watching it, we were all good. Oh, well, we've got a conveyor loader down here, and I'm asking for steel to be placed into this. Maybe maybe we're actually consuming the materials. Anyway, I want this to go over to Sherubi. This is... Oh, 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 oh. It's waiting. It's waiting. Okay, cool. <laughs> I see now. Uh, launch cost. 48 out of 20 red bolts. We got 20. Is that what we're saying? Or have we got 40 and we're waiting for 20? I, I don't know how this works. I don't know if you can tell. Maybe we fired the 50 out and it's like, hey, we got the 48 because it lost a couple going over this distance out of 20. 20 needed to shoot and we need 200 kilograms of steel before it will travel. And of course, the steel is a little bit lacking. Now, I said that we could only get two, uh, one of these red bolt generators working like this i'm hoping to expand my solar network somewhat to be able to go over that way we're going to be making some st oh man i really wanted to show this to you hang about i'm gonna i'm gonna end the episode but i really want to see this <laughs> okay i've asked for a whole bunch of these steel wires to replace replaced with copper hopefully things will get placed in here it doesn't tell us what's inside oh it's here this is where it tells us what's inside the interplanetary launcher and right now it's nothing where are you going where are you going no no. <laughs> okay, no one wants... Oh, I know why. There, we'll tick that box. I was just about to hit the panic button, but still, no one wants to move the stuff in here. So let's try and get this going pretty quickly. Look at that. So many people coming over. I didn't even know there were that many auction masks for people to be able to make the delivery. Well, there we go. Here we are. Uh, things are being shipped in. Let's have a look inside the interplanetary launcher. 125. I want to send at least 1,500, but uh, I'll take... Oh, did it, did it go? Have we had one be ready to go already let's let's hold on a second and see if we can't get some more okay here we go 185 200 boom whoa 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 something just went firing off the star map let's have a look it's it's not here I would, oh look there they are two interplanetary missiles headed for shirubi they're gonna arrive in 50 seconds should, should we hold on the 50 seconds I think we can hold on the 50 seconds. Seven, six, uh, I mean, is that just to cross one square? Four, three, two, hex, not square. One, zero, one. Okay, it, it appears to have gone. It appears to have gone. Let's oversee the planetoid. Do we have, oh, where is it? Over here, it should be, there it is, look at it. Oh, mate, we did a thing. We totally did a thing. The next thing that I need to do, of course, is to build a utility, I believe. Maybe a station? Obviously, it's in the rocket tree. The payload opener. Oh, wow. Wow, wow. That, that looked like it could have scared us. Uh, we're going we're gonna to build this here. But with that, I am going to say thank you very much for joining me for this adventure, ladies and gentlemen. I have run out of, of time today, but we have done a whole bunch of stuff. Most importantly, we have managed to get ourselves... Ooh, a quick save on the go. No, uh, an auto save, sorry. Uh, we have managed to get ourselves one Red Bolt generator running 24 hours. Oh, look, look at how much the battery didn't drain. Maybe we can get a second one loading. But we're also moving a steel around the system oh and we will make great use of that but i will see you then when we're gonna do that bye